St. Cyprian's Church Epiphany Worship. Epiphany is one of those strange festivals. Not Epiphany, I suppose, but the journey of those wise men. All they saw was a star. They read the stars, but they saw a star, and because they saw that one star, they travelled thousands of miles, well, maybe hundreds of miles, across hot, dry land to go and visit they knew not what. And they spent a fortune, gold, frankincense, myrrh, cost lots, just to give us a present. Were they old? Were they young? Who knows? But they met the king, they visited the stable, they snuck away at night. They were from a foreign religion. It was all strange. That first epiphany, that first time when the wise men travelled to see a baby. It's difficult to make sense of what is a very bizarre story. Let's have a few moments perhaps to think more about how strange this really was, as we have another carol suitable for Epiphany. sense of it if we read the bit from the Bible where it talks of this visit of the wise men. It's from Matthew's Gospel and it's chapter 2. Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea during the time when Herod was king. 
Soon afterwards, some men who studied the stars came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the baby born to be the king of the Jews? We saw his star when it came up in the east, and we've come to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was very upset, and so was everyone else in Jerusalem. He called together all the chief priests and the teachers of the law and asked them, Where will the Messiah be born? In the town of Judea. Sorry, in the town of Bethlehem, in Judea, they answered. For this is what the prophet wrote. Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, you are by no means the least of the leading cities of Judah. For from you will come a leader who will guide my people Israel. Sir Herod called the visitors from the east to a secret meeting and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem with these instructions. Go and make a careful search for the child, and when you find him, let me know, so that I too may go and worship him. And so they left, and on their way they saw the same star they had seen in the east. When they saw it, how happy they were, what joy was theirs. It went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They went into the house, and when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down and worshipped him. They brought out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and presented them to him. Then they returned to the country by another road, since God had warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod. Another pause, and then we'll have some thoughts. So, what to make of this strange story? Well, first of all, I have to say I love the wise men. They were people who saw a star, who expected God to work, who was waiting for God to speak. They saw a star and decided to follow. It was a small sign. It wasn't anything grand. There wasn't a lot of confirmatory data splashing around at the time, they simply saw the star, knew God was speaking, and chose to go. They even put a huge investment in it, buying gold and frankincense and myrrh to give to the child. But they expected God to speak, they saw the star, and they followed. I just wish sometimes that I could trust as much as they do, that I could expect God to speak as much as they did, that I might see signs of where God might lead me and want me to go. It was a hard journey for them, a difficult journey, a dangerous journey, and yet they wanted to go and see. I wish I was like that. I wish somehow I would be more confident to see God speak, because he does. More confident to hear what he has to say, because he invites us to follow. I also like the wise men, because when they got there, these important people, great wealth, gold, frankincense, myrrh, did not come cheap. These men had great wealth knelt and worshipped this baby Jesus. Not in a palace, not in a temple, not in a great place. They knelt and worshipped Jesus, the baby, in a stable. And for me, the second half, I want to follow, I want to hear, I want to see the signs God gives me. But I want also to kneel and adore this baby, 
to come in humility and say to Jesus, I love you, I worship you, I adore you. A remarkable story, remarkable people. Great examples of how we can relate to our God. We can follow, we can kneel and we can worship. Let's pause again and then we'll have some prayers. sat here in my scruffs today, um, trousers torn, old jacket, stained jumper and so on. I suspect a bit like the wise men were after they travelled 500 miles to see this baby. But today I'm going to kneel and worship and adore in my heart this child. Let's pray. Lord God, as we begin this new year, we pray that you'll be with us and help us to journey with you. Help us to see the signs that you give us, the invitation you give out to us. Help us, Lord, to want to follow, to want to walk with you, to want to journey to see what you have for us. And we pray for this world in which we live. And we pray, Lord, that we will see your glory, your love, your strength working in our world. As we enter 2021, we pray, Lord, that those people who are struggling will find peace. Those with illness will find healing. Those who are mourning will find you with them, holding their hand, helping. Lord, we pray that people will see your son, Jesus, born in that stable and will want to kneel and adore and worship. We pray more and more people will find the strength and peace and the hope and the joy that you alone can give us. We 
We pray, Lord, that as we journey into an uncertain world, an uncertain year, we will find you working, we will find signs of hope. We pray that new life will come. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And maybe you want to say the Lord's Prayer with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We're going to finish with a Christmas carol. This is sung by Bruce Davis. Um, I know it's not exactly an Epiphany hymn, but it's an hymn that's appropriate for Epiphany. And as for me, I'm going to go somewhere warm, get warmed up, get my fingers moving again. May God walk with you through this new year. May you know his love surrounding you. Amen. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Her stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, long ago. Our God and cannot hold him, nor earth sustain. Heaven and earth shall flee away. When he comes to reign In the bleak midwinter A stable place suffice The Lord God Almighty Jesus Christ Angels and archangels may have gathered there. Cherubim and seraphim throng the air. But his mother only in her maiden place worship the with a mother's kiss. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part, yet what I can, I give him, give my heart. Yes, what I can, I give him.